Good morning. This is, we are four weeks old today morning. And I wanted to show you how clean their little puppy area is first thing in the morning. This isn't even first thing in the morning. This is 11 o'clock. I did get up with them at, um, well, my husband got up with them at 7. I was sleeping. There was one sheet that had poop on it. And then when I got up here at 1030, there was one over here with poop on it. But that's it for 14 puppies. Um, everybody is pretty much pooping in the box and so as soon as I can get the door the puppy dog door in here they will be learning how to go outside to go in their little box and I think will be highly successful um, everybody's sleeping and today is when we start feeding twice a day gruel and I wanted to tell you um, everybody's asking me what to feed their puppy and then when they get home I usually don't start the puppies um, on any type of solid food like the kibble till they're about seven weeks. I'm gonna bump that up about a week with these guys because there's so many of them. What I feed is a raw mixture. This is it over here. It looks kind of like liverwurst. It's actually raw ground green tripe, um, heart, kidney, spleen, um, sardines, smelt, um, all blended into a chub and these are about ten dollars for two pounds and I have to this takes me two of these a day to feed these guys so I'm these are um, this is twenty dollars a day just to feed them twenty dollars a day just letting you know why we charge twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars for a puppy um, because we give them the best possible start I do not feed Purina products. I do not feed Mars products. I do not feed any commercially made kibbles normally to my dogs. I am going to start your puppies at about six weeks now on kibble um, and this mixture. But um, for the first, these first two weeks of their life, they're getting a raw meat mixture just as if they were raw carnivores here. And they love it. They love this stuff. They just devour it. So, um, just wanted to give you guys a little update and let you see how well they're doing and their progress of learning how to poop in their little place over there. Um, giving you a little update on breakfast and what it's like to eat here. And to see what it's like to be a breeder of 14 puppies first thing in the morning. This is not first thing in the morning though, it's actually 11 o'clock and you see how just calm and happy they are. Nobody's screaming, nobody's crying, they got bellies full of food, they got this gr a gruel this morning, boys got gruel this morning, girls got nursed. I'm here at 11 o'clock, girls are going to get gruel and boys are going to get nursed. Then this evening we'll have another gruel feeding for both, so they're going on two a day now. By the end of this week, um, I hope to have them pretty much weaned on to three meals a day and on a schedule. And the cuteness uh, is really starting to escalate here now because they're four weeks old, they're fighting, they're chewing, they're growling, they're barking, they're playing. They're so cute, they're adorable. And Boo Boo just can't wait to get in there and play with them, see what he can, which one he can roust around here. So good morning to everybody. Um, another little snapshot of the cuteness of the Fab 14. Here they are, being as cute as they can be. And here in about an hour, girls are going to be eating that gruel mixture over there and making a huge mess. They do get it all over themselves, of course. They get their feet in there. Look at that little cute little turd right there. Oh my goodness. Look at you guys. Your guys are crazy. The bellies, okay, the bellies are just, you know, the bellies. Look at those little bums. Oh my goodness, you guys are so ridiculous. What's this mess over here? What's this mess in here, babies? Grandma's got to get in there and clean all that up. So, um, just to recap, this stuff's from Happy Dog, this food. Um, you can order it, it gets shipped, so shipping is included. And I would highly recommend that some of you start your puppies on this when you get home. I do recommend a kibble 
called Pet Kind. I am not in any way affiliated with them. I do not get any kickbacks for that. I just don't get any gas. And Dobermans and dog food seem to be like synonymous with farting. And I have no farts in my house and I had four Dobermans in here. So Pet Kind is a green tripe food based. That's the source of the protein. Um, and it is really a good food. It is very expensive. Um, I will probably have your puppies on Diamond uh, Naturals only because I can get a good quantity of it. Um, it is absolutely not my choice of a food, but at $85 a bag, um, 14 of these guys will go through a lot of that pet uh, kibble. Whereas you guys will have one puppy and $85 a bag, they're certainly worth it. So um, pet kind, uh, green tripe food, any flavor, get yourself 20 pounds of that green tripe from Happy Dog, have it ready. Give them three to four ounces with their food when you start feeding them and gradually wean them off of it if you want. Um, otherwise, just keep feeding it because they do love it. My dogs love it and everybody loves it. Um, but my dogs are fed basically raw with some kibble that's free fed. Um, and I put nutritional yeast on my food, on my dog food, and they love that too. So I use things like bone broth. Homemade bone broth. I've been making bone broth for two years now. I have a pot that's been going. Um, I lost 75 pounds drinking bone broth. It's awesome stuff. Um, I give them um, sardines. I do give them... Um, oh, we got somebody pooping outside the spot over there. Oh, busted. You're on camera. You're busted, mister. Whoever that is, you're in trouble. You're grounded for a week. So we got a pooper. We got a renegade pooper over there. So that's what I feed, um, and I am feeding your guys that too. So, like I said, when you guys get them, they will probably have been on Diamond Naturals puppy food, but it is not what I would continue to feed any dog for the lifetime of its of its uh, life. But um, there are there are breeders who feed their dogs soaked in water, uh, Purina puppy chow, and turn your dog puppies onto that at four weeks. Um, I would no more give my puppy Purina puppy chow than I would give it to my granddaughter. I wouldn't give it to anybody. Get out of there, boo. That's not for you. Hey, boo. No, I know it's delicious. He wants to go eat that food. Get out of there, booby. Boo, boo, get out. We're still pooping over here. So that's my update video, some more information, um, and off I go to have my coffee.